I've created the following videos to help you get to 1 million subscribers on YouTube. And each video will focus on one milestone at a time. So for example, the next video after this video is where I'm going to talk about how to get your first 100 subscribers. And then the video after that, I'm going to talk about how to get to 1,000 subscribers. And then the next video will be how to get to 100,000 subscribers. And then finally, how to get to 1 million subscribers in the video after that. I'll also have a video in which I talk about a couple of unorthodox methods of getting subscribers if you're new to YouTube and you're trying to get your first 100 subscribers. So follow along and I'll see you in the next video and let's talk about getting your first 100 subscribers. Reaching your first 100 subscribers. Now, for some people, 100 subscribers may not seem much. And for others, 100 subscribers seems a lot. Now, obviously, if you want to get 100,000 or 1 million subscribers, 100 subscribers may not mean much. But you know what? It is an important milestone to get your first 100 subscribers because it shows that you're gaining momentum with your new channel. So if you want to reach your first 100 subscribers, let's get a few fundamentals down first. Okay, when you upload your videos, for example, first make it private. Okay, this way you can focus on optimizing the video. Take the time to optimize the title, description, your tags, and also if you want, you can transcribe the video and, and also create a custom thumbnail. Right now, what I use to create my thumbnails is canva.com. And successful YouTubers have realized it's the thumbnail and the titles that's driving the click-through rates. Your thumbnail and title has to make people want to click on your videos. Now, here's a quick tip. A thumbnail uh, that have faces on it, that has the YouTuber's face on it, usually do the best, okay? And titles, uh, that do well are lists and questions. An example of this can be five steps to getting six pack abs. You're also going to want to add a link in the description to your subscription link. Okay, and of course, uh, in your videos, you should have a call to action at the end asking your viewers to click on the subscribe button and also on the bell. The bell button is what notifies people when you're new videos are released. Now, once your videos are optimized, you can set it to public so that the public can view your videos. Now, when it comes to making your videos, you want to focus on quantity over qual quality. You want to make as many videos as you can. Don't strive for perfection. However, also try not to create crappy videos. And don't worry about investing hundreds or thousands of dollars on new equipment at least not yet you're still starting out you're still trying to get experience and you know what your subscribers or the few subscribers that you have they've already chosen to subscribe to you based on your current quality anyways so they're not expecting you to improve your quality now as you make more videos your videos will naturally get better anyways now, unfortunately, if you have a new and a small channel, it's very unlikely that YouTube will promote your videos and that it will be very difficult for people to see or to find your videos. So you have to find other ways for your videos to be found. For example, you can find out where your potential viewers hang out online, whether it be Facebook groups, blogs, forums, etc. So you have to be proactive here. You can't just sit back and relax and wait for YouTube to dr to get all the tra traffic to your videos. However, you can do that, but it will just take a lot longer for you to get to your first 100 subscribers. Now, once you find out where your potential viewers are hanging out online, try to share that video on those platforms, okay? Facebook, Pinterest, Twitter, Facebook groups, etc. And lastly, you should engage and interact. Comment on your own videos and also in all the places where your video is being shared. Doing this will create a community of your own. 
And the higher that your engagement rates are for your videos, the more likely that your videos will rank high on the search engine on YouTube. How to get to 1,000 subscribers. Now that you've reached 100 subscribers, let's go for your next milestone. You're gonna need a game plan for your channel. And you know what? You're gonna have to be more ruthless with your time and your content. And it's time to start working with other YouTubers. Give them shoutouts. And don't just ask for the much bigger YouTubers for shoutouts, but also ask uh, the people who are on your level or even below you. You're also gonna to wanna to start using YouTube's analytics tools so that you know when people are abandoning your videos and what's causing them to leave. You're gonna to wanna to find out how your viewers are finding you and how well your engagement is. And you need to track what you need so you can make adjustments for the future. You can also see which of your videos are producing the most amount of subscribers. So keep creating more videos like that. You have to give people what they want and stop making content that's not getting as much views as your other content. So basically you have to find patterns that impact your audience. So when you shoot your next videos, you can shoot them in a way that have better audience retention. Now, when you're trying to rank your videos on uh, YouTube search engines, YouTube values watch time more than how well your videos are optimized for keywords. So now you need to focus on ways to increase the watch time on your videos. You need to get as much watch time as you can on your videos within the first week of them being published because that will greatly influence its rankings on YouTube's search engines. Now that you've reached 1,000 subscribers and you have the ball rolling, let's start looking at the bigger picture here and let's aim for 100,000 subscribers. And I'm gonna be honest with you, it's not easy. And you're gonna to need to be consistent. You should try to make a schedule if you haven't already, uh, whether it's making one video per week or three videos per week or even five videos a week if you can. But find a schedule that's right for you and try not to burn yourself out. You also have to start thinking about investing in better equipment. You have to up your game here. Some YouTubers have invested over tens of thousands of dollars in camera equipment alone. You're gonna also want to invest in better computers and other types of equipment for your studio. You should also start doing collaborations if you haven't already. I know of one YouTuber that grew by 1,000 subscribers in one day when they first did a collaboration before that their biggest day was 150 subscribers if you collaborate with a lot of people you're gonna be crossing audiences and you're gonna be able to grow your subscribers by leaps and bounds now I know I've talked about SEO and optimizing your videos in previous videos but I just want to remind you to keep focusing on SEO okay and a couple of things I haven't mentioned before are to get other tools outside of YouTube. For example, you can get a free tool called KeywordTool.io to give you ideas on what to name your titles and see what people are searching for. You can also get a Chrome extension called Keywords Everywhere. Use this to find what keywords are being searched for on Google and YouTube. Another Chrome extension you can get is called VidIQ. This helps you get keyword ideas and helps you with your tags, so it's similar to tube buddy and another quick SEO tip here is to name your thumbnail because this affects your SEO I cannot stress SEO enough here because it's gonna play a big part in your success on YouTube and in your goals of getting up to 100,000 subscribers getting to 1 million subscribers well that was a big milestone getting to 100,000 subscribers now the next milestone is to go for 1 million subscribers. And you know what? You're going to need a little bit of help and some luck as well. But you have to realize that the growth or your growth on YouTube is exponential, or at least that's how it works for most YouTubers. And what this means is that, in, for example, six months, you'll be growing at a faster rate than at the rate that you're growing now. So it's unpredictable uh, as to 
how many subscribers you're going to have in six months to a year from now. Of course, it all depends on your work ethic and the amount of effort uh, you put into this and how many videos uh, you're making. But let's state the obvious here. Getting to 1 million subscribers is no small feat. It is difficult to get there. Now, one area that you're going to need some love in is in the suggested and recommended bar of YouTube. Uh, when you're on YouTube, and you're watching a video, you see on the right side of that page, there's going to be uh, suggested videos for you. And most of those videos are related to the video that you're watching. So basically, getting your video in the suggested bar there is going to help you and it's going to get you or help you get a lot of views and subscribers. Unfortunately, nobody except for YouTube knows YouTube's formula for putting your video in the suggested bar. But obviously, if you make a video that's related to someone's, there's a chance yours will show up there. So just imagine if you have a video that comes up beside PewDiePie's video, you can have views coming in for months. And with those views, subscribers follow. Now, for those of you who don't know who PewDiePie is, he's probably the biggest uh, YouTuber out there, probably with the most subscribers. To increase your chances of showing up in the suggested bar is to make videos based on a trendy or popular topic and then putting your own spin on it and making it unique and having your own unique angle to it. So one of your aims should be for your videos to be shown in the suggested bar. Another key to getting 1 million subscribers, although it is not guaranteed, is to try to create that one video that gets people out of the chairs. If you're going to try to do this, you can't really play it safe. You always have to try to push the boundaries. You might even have to make a controversial video to go viral. And you know what? It's actually the video that you're scared of making that is usually the one that's going to change your life because it's those types of videos that are pushing the boundaries. And you have to ask yourself as well, does your content move your audience? So don't be afraid and dare to be different. Lastly, another key that I want to mention here is for you to continue collaborating with other people. Now, when you're first starting out and you have a few subscribers or maybe you don't have any subscribers at all, it's going to be hard for you to get to that first 100 subscriber mark, as I mentioned in another video. And unfortunately, YouTube doesn't really promote videos uh, that are created by YouTube channels with a few subscribers or that are new. So you're really going to have to do some hustling here and you can share your videos on social media that works. But in this video, let me share with you a couple of unorthodox methods of getting subscribers. Method one is to leave replies to comments that ask for subscribers. And you may have seen this when you're watching a video and then you also check on the comments or you're reading the comments below the videos and sometimes people will ask for other people to subscribe to their channel and in return they'll return the favor. So what you're going to want to do is reply to 15 to 20 comments every day for one month or more. Of course if time is limited for you you can reply to only five or as many as you can every day or it doesn't even have to be every day but just try to do this every once in a while. You're also going to want to leave comments on small channels and ask for sub for sub. And you can also go to subscriber forms. You could do a Google search for subscriber forms. And as you'll see, there are countless sub for sub transactions going on there. Now, method two is very unique. Uh, one guy got over 200 subscribers on his first day doing this. And what you do is you have to look for massive YouTube channels in your niche. And what you would do is you would subscribe to them and hit their bell button. When you press the bell button, what that does is it'll notify you whenever a new video is released by that YouTube channel. Now, as soon as they upload a new video and you get notified, immediately leave a comment on their video and talk about your upcoming video that's related to that video. Now, you have to leave a comment in the first minute or so so that your comment could get to the top of the comment section. 
Now the person that got over 200 subscribers doing this method, what he did was he also logged out and signed into his other YouTube accounts and used those to like his original comment so that the engagement will help put his original comment to the top. Now when you are leaving a comment, remember to also compliment uh, the YouTube channel first. 